Hello everyone, it is Adam here. So if you're like me and you have big feet, size 13s, um, with boots it's even bigger. The problem I have is I'll usually keep my balls and my feet on the uh, pegs and then I have to do this number to get so my heel is touching the peg and my big toe can now shift. Uh, it's even worse with the form of adventure boots because I have to do this motion and then under and then up to get around it. So someone recommended to me instead of buying an aftermarket shift knob just grab the Elium Works shifter extension uh, that you keep your OEM shifter you just change this up now of course one thing you can do initially is you can uh, change loosen this bolt up right here and then move this um, spin this in place which you should check yours by the way make sure it's not loose because I had um, <laughs> my friend Jim over in July in Canada uh, not with me but on a different trip uh, he looked down and his shifter was gone and this bolt had come loose and it just flew right out. Um, I, the other day, with a bike with only a thousand miles on it, um, was cleaning it and realized that my shifter was also loose. So it would have just came right out. So definitely make sure this is bolts tight. Check it every once in a while to make sure you're good. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove, uh, this is a T, probably a T30. Uh, unscrew this pull this right out and then I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so we actually removed our knob. It was a T27 actually. It may have been a T30, but T27 did the tricks. So we've got our knob right here. This is the OEM knob. It's got a nice sticky texture to it. Here's your Ilium Works shift extension. Just like that, you're gonna push this in. I even need a press to do this. There we go. We'll get it all the way in and then we'll uh, get back to you guys. <laughs> Whew. That's as far as it'll go without breaking it. So this is really 30 bucks for I pay for this with shipping, $31. And it is a really good way to get this um, out a bit farther. So you can see how this spins in place. So you can do close or far. Uh, we're gonna do as far away as possible here. I was wrong, it is a T30. I totally led you guys astray there. Have it in mind having to be really loose, that's why. Also, it's that time of year, I think the squirrels are trying to get into the house. All right. Can you use the little camera? There we go. So, I've never used a shift extension before. So it looks as if, even though this is tied and not moving, this itself will still move around. But uh, wow, I mean, so here's the thing. For me, it's not gonna make a huge difference probably with the problem I was having. And don't worry, I've already actually purchased a proper shift knob extender. It does make the hook more meaty uh, I'll ride it around, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, all you got to do is just pull this right off and, well, probably don't pull it off so that it's there, but you can get this off pretty easily with a, a T30. So, we'll see. I'm not sure if this is going to work out for me yet or not, but maybe I won't publish this video until I've tested this out for a couple days and I'll let you know what I think of it before we um, I recommend it. For $31, it's it's pretty cool to try out, but uh, we'll see what I think about it long term. 